good Sunday morning, everyone. Today I am feeling discouraged and exhausted. So I'm in Orlando staying with some of my awesome friends so they can look after me while Judd's been away the past few days at drill. Because of my health, it's too unstable for me to be alone with all these allergic reactions. Well, last night we went out with some of Paul and Janice's friends, some of my friends, and a new service dog handler team, and we went to Chili's for dinner. Everything there was great. It was awesome. And then we decided to go to City Walk. And by then I was already feeling pretty exhausted, but doing okay-ish. And then I haven't been to City Walk in about like over a year, and I remember why when I got there, it's because there's no smoking zone. So people can smoke wherever they want, and that is a huge trigger for my asthma, which is already acting up because of my sinus and chest infection. So even with the mask, I'm having such violent asthma attacks that I can't even hold myself up, and my lungs are burning, and I'm like hacking away, my body's weak and fatigued, I have a headache, and it's just... I was exposed to so much cigarette smoke that my body was throwing a fit. So we all sat down for a while to talk and I lay down and took a nap. And honestly, I was just so unwell that even though I really enjoyed the company, City Walk was not enjoyable for me. It was too much for my body. I did not have a good time because I was feeling unwell. Um, and then to top it all off, on our way out, we were close to the car and I, my body decided to put me into another stupid allergic reaction and honestly we still don't know my triggers but I honestly think it's just due to how much cigarette smoke I was exposed to and even though I've gone through a lot of these reactions and a lot it's still really scary when you're escalating up to anaphylaxis and you can't breathe and there's commotion going on around you it's not it doesn't get easier basically and you know, Paul and Janice knew what to do and administered the IV Benadryl through my port and everything, but it's just like, why? You know, my friends are out having a good time and then I have to have a stupid allergic reaction and I'm tired of having this port. I haven't been able to take a nice shower in five days because this can't get wet and we haven't figured out how to cover it without it getting wet in the shower and then me needing to change everything. And yes, I've ordered new showering supplies and my home health company sending me new supplies, but that went home not here in Orlando, it went to my home in Tampa Bay, so I won't get it until today or tomorrow, and I haven't been able to wash my hair. <sighs> Dry shampoo only works for so long, and it's just like, all these things are frustrating and discouraging. I'm so blessed and thankful for IV Benadryl, but I feel like it's just a band-aid, you know? I want to fix the reactions. I don't want to keep just using IV Benadryl. I don't want to be dependent on it the rest of my life. I don't want to be accessed the rest of my life. It's like... <sighs> frustrating. Yes, I am frustrated and discouraged, and it's hard. But thankfully, tomorrow I'm seeing this new allergist in Tampa. Hopefully he has some ideas. I am thankful for my amazing friends who can stay calm and know what to do in those emergency situations. I'm thankful to have these medical treatments available to me so I can live as independent as possible. Thankful for my service dog, all the people around me who love me, and I'm thankful for the support y'all give me. So... Yeah, today is a day where I'm frustrated, but I'm trying to focus on the positives, and I'm just going to keep moving forward. Janice's mom is going to wash my hair for me. I'm so excited. Mommy, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> Am I done? Ah, oh, Shaggy, have patience. So I was feeling really frustrated because I couldn't wash my hair, and we found a solution. So just... Keep looking for the solutions, people. They're out there, but I'm really happy about this. The solutions, my mom. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Janice's mom did a great job on my hair. I'm feeling so nice and clean. And I've got this cute outfit on because we're going to go out and run some errands. We are in the car on our way to do our errands of the day. It's really nice out, which makes me happy. Well, we are in Michael's looking for little storage containers to hold my IV medication vials. This place is huge and a little bit confusing. It's not deep enough and I don't want it to rattle around stuff. So. There's not a container here. Um, somebody on Instagram who uses the same IV meds as me sent me a photo of a perfect container. Said she got it at Michael's but it's not here so I guess I'll just order it online. This is what really goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> Sitting down doing nothing. Got it. Oh, my legs just 
seem to mind. Alright, we are at Sam's Club getting some things from Paul and Janice, and I want some free samples, but have not found any yet. I found a hash brown with stuff in it. Mm, and, then she, and then she died. Nope, not good. Found a waffle with melted cheese in it. I love waffles, but I don't know about the melted cheese. Mmm, it's not bad. Guys, it's actually really good. Ravioli! More food! I got cheese! The ravioli was good. And there's so much cheese in this place, I love it! I got more ravioli, because this is the best one i tried so far. Yeah. We're at Publix, and I got a sprinkle cookie and a chocolate chip cookie, and a free sample of cake, and I got myself a Rice Krispie treat, and a potato ball for lunch. So many sweets! Alright, well, Harlow with me. There's an untrained pet over there. Harlow did good. Orion did good. Good girl, Harlow. Good focus. Both dogs, obviously they were interested in the other dog because they're puppies and want to play, but when we said leave it and watch me, they did. We kept their focus with treats and praise and they did great. Now we're leaving Publix because we're all not feeling great and we're tired and we're going to go home and eat. Okay, uh, while I was recording the video in the spur of the moment, I called the dog a pet. I shouldn't have done that because that was just an assumption. It could be a service dog and help her in some way. It's just that it was poorly trained regardless of whether it was an actual service dog or not because it was pulling on the leash, not listening to the owner, and when it saw our dogs, it was like clawing at the floor trying to get to them. So. Um, anyways, it's wrong of me to assume it's a pet. It could be task trained, but regardless of whether it was or not, it wasn't well. Poorly behaved. Yeah, it was poorly behaved, basically. Judd just called me. He is released from drill and 30 minutes away. I'm really excited to see him. That's going to be a huge pick me up. Let me see. <laughs> oh, you're back! Yeah. Are you healthy? No, I still have a cough. She's so. up. <laughs> Plus one. We're so happy Judd's back. You sure that's the right dog? Yeah, that's Harlow. That's okay. <laughs> Hippo Harpo. There you go. All right, everyone's in the video. We're all happy. Hippo. I'm happier. Oh, oh Harlow's nose got in the way. <laughs> well, I am so happy that Judd is back. He was gone from Thursday night to now Sunday evening for drill. We didn't have much communication, but he is back now. Uh, drills aren't that difficult for us because we made it through an 11 month deployment, so no big deal. Of course, it's never fun being apart. We love being together, and now we are making our, we're about to make our drive all the way from Orlando back to Tampa Bay to start our busy week. Tomorrow, he goes back to the Law Enforcement Academy, which is ending soon. He graduates March 1st, my birthday, and then I have two doctor's appointments tomorrow, a neurologist and an allergist. Both of them are new. So we had to wake up nice and early and I have my friend taking me to both appointments because they are both like an hour away from my house. So looking forward to tomorrow, hopefully getting more answers. And I had a great time here in Orlando with friends. So thankful for all the lovely people around me who support me and all the people who pulled together to help me with my very tricky health. So anyways, thank you for joining me on our adventure today. I hope y'all had a great weekend. <laughs>